I think it's an $1,800 investment, but it's also 20 years of haircutting that'll make you $200,000. The HH1, a couple of points about this year. If a stylist is dry detailing every one of their clients, doing a lot of extensions, doing a lot of curly hair, a lot of colors, they have to have this year. Yeah, I love the HH1, and I, I, I've I think I've sold close to 70 or 80 of these. This is a very expensive shear. It's specifically drawn to stylists who take their craft seriously. It's a tool that allows you to create looks unlike anything else because every time I walk into a salon, I get this objection, that I don't finish. I don't do finish haircutting. I do all my haircutting wet. And I say, well, how do you expose? How do you expose undertones, layering, how do you get in there and do that detail work that's deep within the hair? I sell majority of the scissor, believe it or not, to colorists. I sell this as the best paintbrush they will ever buy because it allows you to get deep inside there, expose colors without overly processing the hair. This is something that I deal with every day. I see clients coming in and they're like, I, I got too much blonde here, the underneath balayage dark hair aren't showing, so then they go back through and they add color on it to make up for it. But that's not what they were looking for. Just a lot of times stylists don't take the time to go back through the hair, cut the diagonal sections. But you balayage, so when colorists, I talk to them, I say, well, you balayage in these beautiful triangular sections, either diagonal forward, diagonal backward, but then when you lay them down, they're just flat panel sections with other little drapey skunk marks. So when you take a shear like this, you're able to cut matching sections that complement each other. When you lay the hair down, you're able to take this shear within there and expose and see because that's what the client sees when they leave is your finished result not everything in between. And I still charge them the same price as a hair color because this is the best hair color you ever get. A lot of men come in now too with this silver hair on top and this dark hair on the side and they wanna have that really blended look where it's exposing these colors. This is a shear that can do it. Trevor Moose is, I'll give a real good compliment to him. I watched him do a barber class with this shear and it was incredible because of the concave blade, it allows hair to be pulled into it. It's a dry cutting shear, which means it pulls the hair into it and so when you over direct the hair up it allows it to create a seamless line without coming back through with the texturizer the benefits are endless with this so talk a little bit to me uh, daniel about how the blades on the inside are concave or, or uh, beveled out yeah so the, the concave blade on the inside when one blade is concave on the inside this blade is concave on this side it allows hair to fall into the blade. So when you're coming into hair and you come in this way, you push the hair with this scissor. It'll push hair. This shear right here allows you to go in, open, hold your comb at natural tension and create a back cut. It allows the hair to fall away so you can see your guide still laying there. And then move over to your next section, open your shear up. And I mean, I'm talking like you guys are watching this and it looks exaggerated, but you open it and you pull back and it's like a razor blade. It's just as sharp as a razor. It does everything you do on dry hair without compromising it. Remember when I was speaking about creating more dead ends? That's not your job. Your job is to reduce that and to move down the fabric of the hair. Damn, you're good, bro. Thank you. I love this shear. I, I, I think it's an $1,800 investment, but it's also 20 years of haircutting that'll make you $200,000. So let's just weigh out the options.